welcome back my wizards. It's Linden from visionaryfire.com and today we're gonna cover the secret for how you key out really difficult green screens perfectly. Now I know you're thinking, Linden, not everything's a secret, but this time it actually is because this technique we're covering is only used by nuke compositors. It's called key mixing. It's almost impossible in After Effects, but as the world's most handsome artist, nothing is impossible except trying to help an After Effects artist understand that they might be behind in their career because they didn't learn Nuke. That's why we help compositors become wizards with Nuke in our mastermind, but more importantly, how to scale to $20,000 per month. You can't say this isn't possible for a compositor because I did more than that myself. Check out the mastermind, link in the description. But without further ado, let's make magic happen. And just as a gift, I'll give you guys this professional green screen footage. There's a link in the description. So here's what a key mix is. So on this layer, we have the hair key that looks nice, but everything else is messed up. On this other layer, we have the, the window with a nice key, but the hair looks terrible. So we want the hair from this layer and the rest of it to be from this layer. So we're trying to mix different sections of the key together to get the best of both layers. So there's a cheat way to do this and a pixel perfect way to do this. So the first cheat way is we can create a new layer, call this mat, and we can just draw where we want the hair layer to exist, hair layer. We hit M for mask, let's go over here to the feather, turn it up a little bit because we do not want any hard lines anywhere. So we have the mat layer directly above the hair layer, alpha mat. So the hair is only gonna exist right here, and then we can pretty much just do the opposite for the window. So we duplicate this mat, and then we're going to do alpha inverted. So it's almost perfect. So now we have the hair to, we can see this problem happening. The cheat fix is you can expand the mask till you don't see the problem. Now, I, the reason why I say it's a cheat fix is because, well, the first of all, like if you turn, if there's any transparency, it's going to double up where the two layers intersect. And this can create a lot of problems, especially if you have kind of translucent hair or blurry edges. It's going to, the translucent areas are going to double up where they intersect, and it's not going to be pixel perfect. How do we do just a clean dissolve between the two keys? Now, luckily, there is a paid plugin to do the key mix function. I'll have that linked in the description. But in case you don't want to buy the plugin, I'm going to show you how to do a pixel perfect key mix directly with the built in tools in After Effects. Now, in Nuke, this would be really simple. You just use a key mix node. But in After Effects, it gets really complicated. But if you're a true After Effects nerd, this is going to be fun. So before we start this, I'm going to color code each layer. So the green layer is the hair, and the red layer is the everything else. All the effects are inside of these pre-comps. So let's duplicate both of these layers. And up here, we're going to create the alpha channel. Down here, we're going to create the color data. So I can rename these alpha. So how we make this an alpha layer is we just want to fill it in with white. So we do fill. And then we want to fill in this transparent areas. So we do solid composite. And this is key. I want to copy this to the other alpha layer. So the idea here is the white is going to define what's opaque and the black is going to define what's transparent. The hair key alpha and the window key alpha, two different alpha channels, and we're going to mix these together. So here we have our mat that defines where we want the hair layer to be and where we want the rest of it to be. So we're just going to pre-compose this mask so that we can duplicate it and reuse it. We only want this hair layer to exist where the mat layer is. So with the mat layer just above the hair key layer, let's just do alpha channel. And we can see that this hair key alpha channel is only going to exist where that mat layer is. Okay, perfect. So the alpha channel right here is perfect. Pre-compose, because we want to pre-compose all these into one layer, call this alpha. So now the alpha is perfect. We just have the hair alpha inside that mat roto. Okay, so now we got to do the same thing for these color layers down here. So I'm going to paste that mat layer so I have a copy here. And we do not want any transparency because all the transparency is in the alpha channel layer here. So what we're going to do is use ship channels and we're going to turn the alpha to full on. This means there's no transparency. It's just full on all colors. Let's do the same exact thing for the layer below this, just like that. So we have the window key and the hair key. 
The same thing, we want to make the hair key only exist where the mat is. So with the mat just above the hair key, let's do alpha mat. So now the hair key layer is only going to exist where the mat is. Now we want to apply this alpha channel to this RGB data. Okay, so for this alpha layer, let's just go to the blending mode. And it's just below the screen here, but I choose stencil luma. Boom. And so now this alpha channel has applied to the RGB data. And we have done a perfect key mix of these two layers. You can see just the way it blends is perfect. The alpha channel, the colors, everything. So we can go into this matte layer and we can adjust this or if you want to see the footage while you're animating the mask, just paste a guide layer of the footage and, and the key mix is going to completely update. So this is how you do a pixel perfect key mix. You know, you, for each area, you want to get the key perfect for that area and then just key mix it in to the final result. For a lot of situations, you can do it the cheat way, but this is the pixel perfect way to do a key mix. Obviously in Nuke, this is way easier to do. By the way, I have another keying tutorial on my channel if you want to go into some more advanced techniques. I mean, I made the tutorial a long time ago, so some of the techniques are outdated, but I'm getting comments from people every week saying this tutorial really helped their green screens. But since that tutorial, I've worked at so many different professional studios and learned way more advanced techniques. So if you guys request it, I will rapidly make more green screen tutorials on this channel. Also, don't forget to check out my new project management application called productionflow.io. It can seriously help freelancers get crazy productive, efficient, organized, and make a lot more money. You can also visit me at visionaryfire.com. And until next time, I'll leave you to it.